Many defendants also express a great fear of speaking in front of a courtroom. Do they, do they, does it have the same movement for you if they take the time to write out their narrative and their introspection and what they've learned from this process? Or do you only value the allocution statement at sentencing? Um, I've seen it both ways. Uh, I think anybody who stood in front of a federal judge to be sentenced should be nervous, right? I mean, that's, that, that's the proper emotion. Um, so if you're not nervous, there's something wrong. Um, so being nervous and writing it out and reading it can be just as powerful. And I've seen that several times. I had a case the other day where the defendant couldn't read it. She started breaking down. I'm like, would you like me to read it? Yes. Would you like me to read it out loud? Yes. So I read it out loud. Um, I, I know there's some, there are some judges that, you know, can't tolerate a tear in the courtroom. I'm not happen to be one of them. It's not that those are bad judges, but I understand that it's a very emotional process. And so if you need to write it out, great. If you can't write it out, that's great. I even had a woman who she was terrified and nobody, government, prosecutor, pub, probation officer said she could ever really talk in public. And so what they did was part of her allocution was trying to show Here's where I've come from. Here's the house I was raised in. This is the miserable place that I still reside. Here are these issues and here's my kids. Um, and they just had her narrate it at the attorney's office. So that, so that that PowerPoint that they sent me on a thumb drive beforehand allowed her that opportunity to talk because she couldn't say more than yes or no to the U.S. attorney, the probation office, or her defense lawyer most times. And so finding a way to address that, whether it's in a written form or standing up and speaking, you know, this is not the presidential state of the union. You don't have to act like it's memorized. I think more important is that it's heartfelt.